So a bit of a mixed bag through the opening five rounds for Richmond in 2019. The Tigers 3-2 and two after a solid win over Carlton, then heavy back-to-back -back losses to Collingwood and GWS before rebounding with back-to-back -back wins over Port on the Road and Sydney at Marvel Stadium. Bash, opening night was a roller coaster, as we said. Uh, a great win over Carlton, but losing Alex Rance. From the defensive group's perspective, how did you regroup and, and reshuffle without a guy who's been one of the best players in the competition for the last few years, knowing he's done for the season? Yeah, at first I remember it was, it was a huge uh, shock. Um, I remember I, I injured my hamstring as well, probably about three, three or four minutes to go into that game as well. But um, obviously the big story was Alex Rance, and um, you know he's he was the he's the barometer of our football club. And uh, you know for, for guys like Dylan Grimes and um, Nick Floston and David Asprey to step up and I guess take their game to another level, not only on field but from off field perspective, and to continue to grow belief and, and to put belief in our in our group particularly our back seven, you know, it was sensational. Um, I remember just uh, Dylan Grimes and, and David Asprey just were, were always voicing their opinions where, when they had to, um, you know, it's, uh, their, their, their leadership stepped up. And, you know, guys like myself and, and Jaden Short are not overly vocal, but um, are very good listeners. Um, but guys like uh, Dylan Grimes were just instrumental with, um, with their voice, their communication and their direction where, you know, that's where Alex Rance was, uh, led the charge. Things were going to plan early for the team, D, on a couple of pretty heavy losses by Richmond standards and then a host of injuries. Rance ACL, Rewalt knee and wrist, Basher did his hamstring, Koch did his hamstring, Jaden Short elbow, uh, Dustin Martin got suspended. How did you guys as a team keep the faith? Because in, in those situations, a season can get away from you quick, can't it, if suddenly you feel like you've got the skids underneath you? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think there was a lot of noise from the outside as well, just kind of talking about um, all these injuries and we're going to get too far behind and uh, Richmond can't win it without Rance and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, it was, I guess, pretty hard to, to um, keep everyone up and energised when that was a lot of the talk. But uh, I guess we just went, went along um, with our business as, as, as per, per normal. So, um, yeah, I think Mason Cox got a hold of us again in, in round two and then um, it, was all, it was all that Port Adelaide game. You know, you, you learn a lot of lessons when you lose but that was probably one game that really got us going um, that year, uh, for, for the year really so I was remember Dylan Grimes just having an unbelievable day it was one of the best I guess backman performances that I've seen and um, to win that game with probably one of the youngest lists um, I think we played with that um, that game so it's just amazing. And in Jack Rewalt's absence, Tom Lynch really stepped up, Basher, and his start to the season, as we mentioned, off a, an interrupted pre-season was amazing. Yeah, it is very, very hard to, uh, you know, to find your feet, particularly when you haven't, uh, you know, grouped really well with the, with the, with the majority of the, of, the, of the team through uh, the pre-season. But for, for him to, uh, to start the season like the way he did was, uh, you know, it was sensational and kind of just took a little bit of pressure off Jack to an extent and, to, you know, to, to complement Jack's work as well. And, you know, people doubted out there where, you know, Lynchy wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't going to be the best fit. Um, you know, we've won a premiership without him, but, you know, we, we had Jack go down for a, for a number of games this year and for him to step up and to, to present the way he's presented is, uh, you know, it's a credit to him. It's a credit also to, to the rehab coaches, to the physio, uh, physios and doctors who, um, you know, put a lot of effort into him um, and, and put a lot of belief in him. But um, I think to add on to, to Dion, Dion's, um, you know, comment before about, you know, young group. It's. I remember, you know, in in the change rooms, it was all about having fun. Um, you know, even the pre-game speech um, by by the skipper of, uh, you know, Shane Shane Edwards at the time. You know, he'd, he'd uh, you know, Shane's a man of a few words, but very very effective. But at times, he'd pass the reins to uh, Camden Mac McIntosh. Do you remember, you know, Camden's uh, pre-game yeah. little warm-up? Uh, do you want to share oh. share that? <laughs> yeah, well, that was. So usually the captain does a speech um, just before the. Uh, we run out, but um, Shane wanted to bring something different into the, into uh, that. So um, he got Camden McIntosh to do the old school yell out a number and, and run the spot. So he was doing like the eight, one, two, three, four, yep. five, one of, one of them. So we did that. You um, mean you guys don't do that anymore? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't do it anymore. So we were, I think we were out of camera shot when we when we did that. So um, yeah, that was something that I guess Shane and Camden brought brought to to the group, and it's just having a laugh and you go out so relaxed. Like you probably see all of us walking out with a yeah. smile on our face and yeah, just enjoying it. Don't, don't, pretty much a free hit we had had that week and um, yeah, it was just having fun interstate and it was yeah one of the 
one of the, our, our best wins for the year. So Richmond entered round six as Anzac Eve clashed with Melbourne at three and two in tenth position, making it crucial for the Tigers to string together some consistently good football in order to keep in touch with the leading pack. Let's check out the highlights now of round six to ten. Building momentum was the key when Richmond met Melbourne in the now traditional Anzac Day Eve clash.